Hello guys, my name is Khan and in today's video, I will discuss about some auto-generated fields or some auto-generated variables in Tableau. So once you import data into Tableau, Tableau automatically create five uh, fields for us. So I will, in this video, I will go through that how you can, what are those fields and how you can use those fields in your analysis or in your visualization. So for this video, I will be using again my US Census data. I will quickly go through the data again. So this is the data in Excel. So I have variables, country, state, state to region. So these are kind of categorical variables. Then I have some major variables like population, death, marriage, divorce, uh, year. And then date and status are also a categorical variable or dimension variable and the good and the thing to note here is that I have about 51 rows uh, in my data. So let's see. So now what I will go do, I will go to my Tableau. So this is the shortcut for me in my desktop for Tableau. I will click it. As I said you guys before, Tableau works in three steps. First, you need import that import uh, data to import. Then you create visualization and the third step you share your report with the other users. So I will go to Microsoft Excel as I shown you guys that my data is in Excel format. I will say open. So this is the data. So I will go to sheet one. So if you, if I go to sheet one and if I show the variables that I have in Excel, so these are the variables in that I have in Excel. But if I, sh in my Tableau, if you see that Tableau have created this new my dimension, my year names, and then also have created latitude, longitude, number of records, and my year values. The important thing to note here is that these things are not in your data. Actually, these are the fields that Tableau have created for us. So there are five fields that Tableau have created for us. The, the important thing is that how you can differentiate that these are the things are coming from data or from that these are the fields that Tableau have created. Uh, the easy way is that these auto-generated fields are in italic uh, style. All others are in normal style, whereas here these latitude, longitude, these num these names are all written down in italic. And in total, there are five auto-generated fields that Tableau create for the user. And now we'll show you guys that how we can use those auto-generated uh, values. So I'll give some example. So suppose if I say number of records and if I write down under text, so you can see it's written down that I have 50 records. But if I go to my Excel, you can see from my last row is still line 51. Actually, it's, it's showing me the 50 record because my first row is the variable name. So in Tableau, it's not considered as an observation. So Tableau start considering um, observation from the line number two of Excel and consider the first row of Excel as the variable name. That's why there are 50 number of records. So suppose, but suppose if I want to see that in my data, I also have a variable region variable, which is dividing the US states into four region. But suppose if I want to know that how many observation in my data is uh, corresponding to each region. So we can do it very easily. So suppose I have a region variable here. If I put it into the columns, you can see or into the rows. So you can see that in North Central, I have 12 observation. Northeast, we have 9, South 16 and West 30. So in this way, you can even use these auto-generated fields too in Tableau. So in my other example, in my next example, what I will do, I will now show you that how you can play around with uh, other Mayers like uh, Mayer names and Mayer number of, uh, sorry, Mayer values. So suppose if I put uh, Mayer names under my columns and then I put Mayer values here in my rows. So what it's doing is that Mayer names, what Mayer names is capturing, Mayer name is capturing all the variable names uh, which are under the Mayer category. So here you can see I have death, divorce, marriage, uh, then number of records and population. Uh, and for all corresponding those Mayers, uh, 
in my mayor values is capturing the sum the divorce even you can change so suppose if you don't want to see the sum in your mayor values if you want to see uh, the mayor as a suppose average so even you can select that too so you can see here now we have average so here i'm trying to show that the mayor names category is mayor name a variable or field is capturing all the names which are under mayor and whereas the mayor values is actually capturing all the values which are under the well which are under the mayor the good thing about these mayor names and mayor values is that you can use them uh, mayor name and mayor uh, values auto generated field to create graph in which you can show the information from several variables in in one graph only so why i'm saying that so suppose if i create another sheet sheet 3 and now let's see uh, if i want to have a graph for my for my region so So suppose now if I use this Meyer name in the column and actually I haven't selected any rows so therefore there is no data here. So after that suppose if I, uh, I want to see my death information, my divorce information and my marriage information. But here the point to note here is that you, we, I, W is showing me the information in separate axes but i suppose if i want to join this information into the same axis so i don't want three separate axes like this the one way could be that if you come to sum of divorce the second variable and you can come here and under here you can see that they are dual axis you can click it and you can see that death and divorce are come under the one axis but still the marriage is is, is showing under the separate axis and i can't get that dual axis option here for my third variable so in order to get rid kind of get rid of this kind of thing i suppose if you want to see all your three variables within the same axis you can use Meyer values there so this is why so now if i go to sheet four just to give you a demonstration so that suppose if i again select my column names and then i instead of capturing each variable putting into rows I simply have, I will drag Meyer values into the rows. And now you can see within the same graph, I have death, divorce, and marriage, and number of population. But suppose if you just was interested in two, three, not uh, other, so suppose not in the number of records and not in the death, so how you can get rid of those. So in order to do this easily, I will drag the Meyer names under filters. And uh, under filter, if I go to this arrow button, I will click it and then i will say edit filter and under edit filter i don't like to have number of records and i don't like also divorce so i will say apply okay so now i have all the variable which is if you notice here that this information death marriage and population is coming from three variable and i am presenting that information of three variable within the one uh, y-axis so this is the beauty especially this thing become very important when you have to create time series graphs then uh, then this uh, these attributes like major names and major values become very handy so i will also give you an example that how you can use major names or major values when you will be dealing with uh, date variable or time series graph so if i go back to my sheet 5 so in order to show you guys that how you can use uh, Meyer names and Meyer values uh, uh, attributes uh, in time series graph. So the first thing is that I am discussing the time series. So I have I will need a date variable which should be in the date format as you can see from the calendar sign here. So I will put it into my columns and then so suppose I want uh, over my uh, over my date I want to see different variables that how they are changing so I will drag my year values here 
and here you can see because I have just 50 rows of data so here if I click this add button because I want to see it on a day level so this is the data you can see I am having here but the important thing to note here is that uh, this graph is not showing me each separate line for death, divorce, and marriage, uh, a number of records and population. In order to get that, what I will do that I will put my uh, sorry, my names under my color category. So now you can see there is a legend got added here, which is showing me the death, divorce, marriage, and the important thing is that all that information is represented under the one axis only which is very useful because sometimes if this feature if you if, if you don't do this you will have to represent each graph for each mayor like that there was maybe in separate way or in separate graphs so this graph this way you can converge different graphs into one and suppose again i want to get rid of variables like uh, number of records or divorce or that so i can easily do that so i will go to my filters I will edit filters and I don't want to see so suppose if I just get rid of number of cores and number of uh, population apply so now you can see okay so now you can see that all the other three variables are represented in the same graph by using uh, by using the mayor values and mayor name uh, which are kind of uh, auto generated fields by the tableau but you guys will be noticing that there are other two things uh, like uh, latitude and longitude in which are also auto generated uh, so what we will do uh, i think we will discuss these two auto generated fields when we will be discussing more about maps in our later videos thank you for watching the video